What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and we are here, Ranger Nation, actually. What's up, Ranger Nation? It's your boy, JB, and we are here with three new episodes of Power Rangers Dino Fury that premiered today on Netflix. Episodes one through eight are on there, and then they added three new episodes, episodes nine, 10, and 11. So, we got a little bit of a break between the hiatus and now we're still back on the hiatus. So it just depends on when you watch the um, episodes. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is, I'm thinking about posting this video. I have two channels. You guys know I have JB Says What, and then I also have a new channel, which it'll be right here. It'll be somewhere on this screen. Um, the, the channel is JB Cyberspace. Now, right now, it does not have a picture of me on there. What it does have is it has the Dino, the cast of Dino, you know, the Dino Fury um, promotional picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that eventually to have a picture of myself. But if you guys will just, like I said, it'll be up here somewhere. Go over there, look up JB's Cyberspace. The link is also in the description bar as well. Go over there, you guys, and subscribe. Because once the show does fully return and, you know, with the rest of the episodes of this season, everything will s slowly move to that channel so do me a favor and go over there and subscribe to that channel if you guys are not already subscribed to it go over there and subscribe and if you're here on the channel watching this video hit the subscribe button guys hit the like button share the video on social media so that other fans in ranger nation know where to find me so with that being said you guys let's get into episode 9 review of power rangers dino fury this episode was titled cut off so without further ado, right, you guys. so episode nine of Dino Fury is here, it's cut off. So we see the Rangers, they're out in the woods and they're going to be camping. Now, I don't know what Ollie's idea of camping was because Ollie has come with a lot of, you know, technology. He has a retractable walking stick. He has battery powered shoes. He has fans. He has a, now that sleeping bag looks kind of cool. And Zato tried out the sleeping bag until Zato pushed the button and it just could have, it, it swung him. I was like, okay, cool. Swung Zato, swinging Zato, swinging Zato. Then it just, you know, it got, it got out of control and it just threw my boy Zato. And I was like, oh no, Zato. You know something I noticed about Zato, his jacket, it had a big Z right here. Reminds you of Zed's putties, how they had the big Z in their chest. So. We notice that Mucus and the monster Rustafa are watching the Rangers. And you guys, I have to say, Mucus love her. She is hilarious. She is amazing. Mucus is my girl. So Mucus, Rustafa, and Void Knight, who has his shield, by the way. They didn't mention how Void Knight got his shield, but that's neither here nor there. But Mucus, she is hilarious. She's like, is it your birthday, um, Void Knight? What kind of cake are we having? What flavor of cake are we, are we having? Chocolate cake? And Void Knight is like, oh, ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we went over this plan already once before. So, Rustafa tells what the plan is. So, the balloon that um, Mucus is holding, it is a balloon that once they send it into the air, it'll cut off communication and it'll stop the Rangers from being able to teleport. So, that leaves the Rangers. <clears throat> you know, SOL at that point. So Voyage Knight says not to let the um, balloon go without his um, cue. It's mucus we're talking about. And she lets it go and it gets stuck in the tree and Void Knight is going off on her and Ali, not Ali, but Zato, Javi and Izzy, they are out looking for firewood and they hear some, you know, Izzy's like, that voice sounds familiar, absolutely. It's your girl, Mucus. So, um, Zato calls, for, you know, for Ali and Amelia. I'm gonna pause here. And All right, you guys. Now, I didn't realize that this is gonna be the first time that Izzy and Javi have met Void Knight. Wow, that's interesting. This is the first time that they've met Void Knight because Izzy and Javi showed up in episode four, New Recruits, and we're on episode nine. This is literally, wow, that's cool. This is the first time that they've met Void Knight, but they've met Boomy, they've met Mucus, and they've met a whole lot of Sporex Beast. 
So they meet mucus, they meet Void Knight for the first time. So the Rangers morph, and when they morph, Void Knight calls for the Hinge Knights to come in. So the Rangers are battling with the Hingeman, Void Knight, and Rusafa. Mucus says, you know what? That's my cue to peace out. And she leaves. I'm like, <laughs> you leave it to Mucus to say, yeah, you guys handle up on that one. I'm going to run away. Um. Now, actually, before she left, she released, you know, she was poking at the, um, wait, when did she leave? Oh, no, that's the next episode. All right, guys, and in this episode, we have Jane and Jay Borg. So Jane and Jay Borg are at a fountain, and Jane is telling Jay Borg to flip a coin, make a wish. Jay Borg doesn't make a wish at first. She's, you know, Jane tells her, say, the, say, say a wish, or um, she said, say wish. And Jane's, Jay Borg said, wish, literally. So they noticed that a Sporix beast was coming out of the fountain. And they also, at the same time, we see Rustafa, Void Knight, and Mucus. They already have one Sporix beast. Now they have two with this one that they just captured. So Jane and Jay Borg try to call the hotline, but communication is down. So here's something that I put in my notes. If you guys don't watch George on YouTube, George Jr. Ranger Reviews. I was actually watching his theory video um, actually last weekend. It was last weekend I was watching, or it was either this weekend, this past weekend. Yeah, it's actually Friday night when I was watching his video about Jane and Void Knight. He had a theory that Jane might be Void Knight. Well, buddy, I think that theory might be debunked because Jane and Void and I were in the same scene together. So yeah, I think we can say that one is out. But your other theory about who Void Knight might be, I can get with that one as well. Because it, 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 it would make a lot of sense. Really would. Because we never see this person and Void Knight on the screen at the same time. So you might be on to something. And if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, go check out his channel. He has a video about who he thinks is Void Knight besides Jane. So, we see the others. They're still in the woods. They think that they're almost toward the city. But unfortunately, they're back at the campground site. And they've made a whole big circle at this point. But Ali, remember I told you guys, Ali wanted to build something to take out the balloon. He built an arrow with the, his, you know, he had something, he had some batteries in his shoes. He built an arrow and he tossed the arrow towards the balloon, but the velocity of it was not good enough. So now they have to build something to make sure it actually hits the target. And the others, when they got there, you know, they apologized to Ollie for not listening to him. And together, the team, they build a arrow, like a bow and arrow and they shoot it whoop, towards the balloon and take the balloon out. And now they're able to teleport. And Solon has contacted them and she's let them know, hey, you know, teleportation, the communication has been down, but, and the hotline is blowing up about where, you know, Void Knight and Mucus are and the Sporex. And she says, I'll give you guys his coordinates and that way you guys can go and battle them. I'm going to pause here. All right, so guys, to wrap up the episode, the Rangers, they teleport to where Void Knight is, and they morph. And once they morph, Mucus, <laughs> you got to love Mucus. Like, you really do. Because Mucus like, you know what? That's my cue. Peace out. Peace out, bitches. And Mucus, she left. And she left. So battling the Rangers is Void Knight, the Hingeman, and Rustafa. So Rustafa, in the middle of them um, battling, grows. So it's going to be up to Ali, Amelia, and Zato to fight with Rustafa. And on the ground, it's going to be Izzy and Javi battling with Void Knight to get the Sporex, the two Sporex that he has. So, you know, Izzy and Javi did their best to stop Void Knight, but Void Knight got away with the two Sporex beasts. So, meanwhile, Ali, Amelia, and Javi, they were having a difficult time battling with Rustafa. And they made a new form, which was the Fortress Formation. 
So Javi and Izzy joined the team and they were able to defeat Rustafa. So once Rustafa was defeated, we move back over to Area 62 where Void Knight, he has, like I said, two sports beasts. So he's now, you know, got two more notches on his jukebox. I'm really curious. I, I wonder how long is it going to take for us to find out what is the purpose of the jukebox? Those are the questions that I have. I wonder how long it's going to take for us to find out what the purpose of the jukebox is that Void Knight has, who the lady is that, you know, is in the secret room, what's going on with her. There's a lot of questions when it comes to Void Knight. But, you know, I feel like we'll get the answer soon. I wonder if we'll get them at the end of this season or if we'll get them going into season two. But, you guys, that is it for episode nine of Power Rangers Dino Fury. Let me know what you guys thought about episode nine. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel. And if you guys are watching it on JB Says What, subscribe to this one and go over to JB Cyberspace and subscribe to that one as well. Um, with that being said, you guys stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Whichever one you guys do do, be safe in doing so. Be blessed, you guys, and I'll catch you guys for episode 10, which will be... So what I'm going to do with these reviews is they're going to come out different days. So you should see this one on Tuesday, then episode 10, Wednesday, episode 11, Thursday. But that's it, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.